James Harden is making news. James Harden out for the last few days, refusing to show up to team activities and stuff like that. Uh, first game of the season, uh, Philadelphia 76ers going to play up against Milwaukee. James Harden suddenly decided to show up. And to show up and play. And according to reports, I think Sham Sharania, of course, my man Woj and others, the 76 ers sent him home. Time to recap, let's understand what's going on here. James Harden thought that Philadelphia was going to give him the max. When they didn't give him the max, According to him, Daryl Morey ghosted him. Wouldn't return his phone calls. James Harden called him a liar, wants nothing to do with him, et cetera, et cetera. I think it's the wrong way to handle things. First of all, you got to show up to work. Period. You got to show up to work. You're under contract, you got to show up to work. Especially with new rules that stipulate, not only can you be fined for every practice you miss, every game you miss, but also if it's proven that you've done this purposefully and that there wasn't any resident emergencies to deal with and what have you, it's been proven. I mean, the new rules stipulate that the Philadelphia 76ers can not only find James Harden, they can retain his rights, which means you're gaining no ground, no progress whatsoever. And you can't just up and leave. Unless you're a bona fide free agent that didn't try to sabotage this season. And that's how James Harden is sitting right now. Now, let me say that I don't believe that James Harden is lying. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I'm not trying to disrespect Daryl Morey in any way. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if we came to find out that Daryl Morey lied to James Harden. And by that, I mean, we're going to give you the max. Then watch James Harden perform in game six and seven, essentially quit in game seven in a lot of people's eyes. And then James Harden came looking for max dollars and Daryl Morey was like, hell no, but didn't want to tell him hell no. Or the owner, Josh Harris, was like, hell no. And, and Daryl Morey didn't want to tell James Harden hell no because he had already made promises to James Harden and he knew he would have to renege on it. And so he didn't handle it with the manliness that it deserved. And confronted James Harden face to face and said, this is the situation. I'm not lying to you, but I don't control the purse. And I'm telling you right now, Josh Harris ain't doing that. He said, hell no. But Daryl Morey, according to what James Harden has told people, ghosted him. Wouldn't return his phone calls, wouldn't communicate with them. And they had a long-standing relationship spanning more than a decade because of their years in Houston together. So Daryl Morey offended James Harden and James Harden clearly draped with his own emotions is not handling this right. There is no other way to slice it. He is not handling it right. He looks petulant. He looks belligerent. But most importantly, he looks selfish because he's thinking about himself. What about his teammates? What about Maxi? What about Embiid? What about Tobias Harris? What about the rest of the crew that you have available to you? What about them? The reality of the situation is, is that they didn't do this to Daryl Moore. They didn't do this to James Harden. Philadelphia 76 was 54 and 28 last year. They were number three seed. Led by Doc Rivers, who's no longer the coach. Nick Nurse, the former coach with the Toronto Raptors, championship coach with the Toronto Raptors. He is now their head coach. But if you look at the Philadelphia 76ers, what are we talking about here? They re-signed Paul Reed, added some minimum contracts to fill out the bench, Got Kelly Oubre from Charlotte. What can I tell you? Patrick Beverly is there, no doubt. Mo Bamba is still there. Danny Green, a veteran, is still there. But if James Harden is not available to you, the only hope you have is that Tyrese Maxey emerges into a star. A star that we know he has the potential to be, but hasn't necessarily definitively seen on a consistent basis as of yet. And if that's the case, where does that leave you? So it's a real bad situation. There is no way around it. Um, most teams don't want to touch Harden, but all you need is one. And from what I'm being told, it's the Clippers. 
Terrence Mann, maybe another player. Philadelphia 76ers won a first-round pick. Don't know if they're getting that. Um, and as a result of that reality, you know, it is what it is. James Harden, no one wants to touch him because they're wondering whether or not he's going to quit on them. That's how he's damaging his reputation. And if you don't get it together, it's going to cost them. It's going to cost them big time. I think it's a huge mistake on his part. That's my personal opinion. I really, really believe it's a huge mistake on his part because of the way he's acting. Not for wanting out, but you got to show up to work. Just say, I want out. Or go on the court and ball and let them know you want out and leave it at that.